morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, end of June, getting towards the end of June, 26th today, I guess. A couple things on our mind here. Uh, we got this cable set up. Here's the four hourly. We tried to go lower yesterday at the open, uh, down to 26, and then just sort of cruised up in this sort of dollar bearish malaise. Now we've had one, two, three, four, five highs at this 90 area. This is the four hour chart. And more importantly, the high after the BOE, which is 133.15. We're expecting this to pierce these highs today. We'll core long cable going into the open. And we are adding as prices go higher today. In the same token, uh, on another dollar bearish bet. It'll be very interesting to see how dollar yen reacts through 109.39. This, of course, has a lot to do with what's going on in trade and what's going on in equities. Equities had a mild bounce uh, yesterday, as you can see on the S&Ps. We bounced 20 handles, 25 handles from the low there. Um, but we're still in bearish territory. Anything below 27.40 is bearish, or 27.20 six right now so bearish territory in equities a lot of this is just going to depend on how the market digests the trade war if you think this is just going to go away or Trump is just going to change the policy um, you know you've got to be a little bit careful here if you think this is a beginning of something uh, more important and this is going to bleed on over the summer this is the week where you really have to strap on your risk off trades. Um, the market looks like it's taking this as dollar negative. It's unclear whether that, you could argue either way, whether this is euro negative, dollar negative, sterling negative, yen negative, CNY negative. But for now, it looks like they're taking this as dollar negative. So keep an eye on the DXY. This is a very important zone here. This 94.05 and the 200 day is 93.93. Through that, this adds validity to cable higher and dollar yen lower general risk off trades. Just want to point out this Aussie top side. It's a bit unusual in a risk off scenario. Keep in mind that China did cut rates. This is normally quite good for Aussie. This one doesn't really make sense within the global macro picture, but it's a nice little chart, 74.43, for the beginnings of Aussie longs. This especially looks good if stocks turn and go higher. Same thing can be said for CAD. We talked about this yesterday. This bar on Friday. I guess I was not here, but I guess is due to oil prices higher uh, after some negative news in Canada. Then oil prices higher, fully bullish engulfed. We're not going to get stuck into this until we get some lower lows printed, some confirmation. But this is a decent little setup. If you just close your eyes and didn't call this dollar Canada and you said this is X Y Z market, everyone in the world would sell through 132.60 so again keep in mind you got to pick your poison here I don't pretend to know what's going to happen in the next 10 days um, so you got kind of both sides to look at today my main focus is going to be long cable uh, going into the open and I will keep a close eye on this dollar yen level while also keeping an eye on risk proxies, so the U.S. stock market, the DAX, um, and the VIX. That's all we got for now. Uh, we'll be selling dollars today in Europe. We'll see what happens uh, as we get closer in New York. I will see you at the New York Open. Ciao.